do you prepare for auditions? Do you have any tips? I have so many tips. It could be a whole separate interview. But I would say there are a couple of key components. Number one, technical excellence is paramount. You have to be able to have total mastery of all the techniques required to play the instruments that we mentioned in the previous question. You really need to make sure that you listen to many recordings of the pieces that you're going to play so that you know what the orchestra is playing at the time that you're playing the excerpt because it's going to affect the way that you sound when you play it. If you try to play these standard excerpts having never listened to the orchestra part and someone else who you're competing with does, they're going to play better than you because the person who's listening to you play it is going to have the orchestra part in mind, especially if they play a different instrument, because they're going to be like, well, I'm playing this, and they played it such and such way, and it's as if they had no sensitivity to what I'm doing at all. Done. Not going to get through. So that's a huge part of it. And then another part, which I think is critical, is you need to have practice auditions, mock auditions, I think is the technical term. You, you, know, you need to have mock auditions. That's really critical because... You'd be amazed at how much pressure you feel when you step back and you say, okay, this one's for all the marbles. Mentally, you visualize that, and then you go in and you have to execute. That's hard. It's really hard. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And then another thing that you can do is tape yourself. If you tape yourself playing excerpts, you have, again, an added level of pressure because you know it's like you know, you're, you're painting it with like a calligraphy pen. You, know, you, don't, you don't get that back. You can't erase it. And uh, the tape doesn't lie. So when you listen back, you can be far more critical when you reflect on what you've done listening to the recording of it in terms of you can put a metronome to it, which is the scariest thing of all time because the metronome does not lie. And you can also hear, you know, did my interpretation come across in the recording? Because you may think when you're playing, oh, wow, listen to how musical I'm being. But then when you listen to the tape, it sounds as flat as anything. So it teaches you that you really need to exaggerate exactly what you're trying to do so that the listener, you know, doesn't have, there's no ambiguity for the listener. They're like, that's what he's trying to do. It's obvious. <laughs>